everyone, welcome back to my channel. My name is Vero and I teach creative people how to sell their art online. And today, well, as you can see by the title of the video, is a puzzle review from Society6. Society6 is both a print and demand supplier and a marketplace which means that when you upload your designs onto their products, it will appear on their marketplace. You can also, you know, bring people in, bring your own audience to buy from your shop. And if a sale is being made, the buyer pays Society6, which make the item and ship it to the client, doing all the customer service, and you get commissioned. Targeted mainly for artists, Society6 has a different uploading process than a lot of the print and demand marketplaces like Redbubble or TeePublic, and you do need a variety of different sizes to fit into their products. You cannot repeat patterns of a certain design. You cannot move it around as much. And you do need to have larger sizes for your files, more than pretty much most of the print on demand suppliers and marketplaces. There has been a full tutorial about Society6 in this channel, and I will leave a link to that down below so you can go ahead and check it out. But let's move back from that and straight into this. <laughs> so if you've been following this channel's community tab or my Instagram account, you probably saw me doing this puzzle along with YouTuber Karin Prater. She is not today here with me to make this review, but she was here with me yesterday to make this puzzle. So I do have to tell you that I have opened it before. And what I want to share with you guys in this review is obviously the price I have paid for it, how much it has cost to get the puzzles, the shapes, because the shape of the pieces is actually quite unique, the quality of it, a quick time lapse of, well, us doing the puzzle, which took us 80 something minutes. Don't worry, it's a time lapse. You won't spend 80 minutes watching it. And then a small recap at the end. Why am I so excited? And what more puzzles do I have coming my way? And you know what? Let's just, you know, talk about this puzzle. Because this was a 200 piece puzzle, which is 35 centimeters by 43.5. That's 13.75 inches by 17.125. Very specific and very exact. And when we got this puzzle, when I ordered this puzzle, I was like, okay, you know, I, I want to check out the quality, but I don't want to, you know, spend five hours doing a jigsaw puzzle. So I'm going to order the 200 piece because they do have 500 and a thousand. And this has been difficult. I mean, Karin is a very uh, trained and skilled puzzler and I'm getting quite good at it too. But there is this point when you do a puzzle. So you do like the outside layer and then you start color coding it. The thing is, you can't really color code this. I remember we were starting out to do it. So we did the frame and then she started taking out different pieces to the side. And I'm like, what are you doing? And she's like, I'm taking down, you know, the dark blue pieces. And I'm like, why? And she's like, you know, to put it in the, to color code the puzzle. And I'm like, yeah, but where would you put them? They repeat so many times. And it was a really fun puzzle to do. Although I have no idea what I would have done if this was like 500 or a thousand pieces. The thing is that once we made the puzzle, we actually discovered that if I look at the mock-up of Society6 for the 200 piece, it's actually really true. Like the pieces are identical. The, the mock-up is spot on to the cutting of the puzzle. Moving on to opening the box. And as I said, I have opened it yesterday. And when I did open it, there was, it, this was basically placed in a nylon sack. So no nylon bag here, but the pieces are really really good these are cardboard pieces they are quite sturdy and i like their shapes a lot I'm trying to help you see them but the shapes are quite unique every shape is a bit different i remember i remember like these shapes were the shapes that we were interested in the most because they're kind of cool and i think that the unique structure of the shape really helped us out to figure out how to put the puzzle because to be honest, this was a really hard puzzle to make. I mean, the pieces, like, you know, if you can see on the colors, so many pieces contain actually all the colors of the puzzle. And if you're wondering how I designed this one, there has been a full tutorial about how I make my liquid art on Procreate and another one on how I use my liquid art from Procreate and make it into a huge pattern using Clip Studio Paint. And oh my god this was such a fun puzzle to make the prices of the puzzles of society 6 are 29.99 39.99 and 49.99 for the 200 500 and 1000 piece puzzles and i think i paid roughly around 37 dollars because again i paid the 29.99 i had a discount i think it was a 35 percent referral discount of someone you know that i invited to society 6 and they purchased and then I think it was like around $6 for taxes because I'm in the European Union and this is made in the US and another $11 for shipping. And 
actually, when I looked at it now, the, the puzzles are just discounted 20% like all day. So this puzzle is actually $23.99. Overall, if I'm looking at $37 ordering something that I made from the United States. So again, you have to consider the fact that majority of buyers, I think, would be from the United States, from Canada, from Australia. But for me to pay $37 for a cool puzzle with high quality, good colors and, you know, delivery to Bulgaria. Yeah, I would say that was a fair amount and I'm happy I did. Like, I really like the quality of this puzzle. I really want to dive deeper into what I plan on doing with this puzzle or the marketing aspect of what I think about doing with Society6 a little bit more than what I've discussed in previous videos. But before I do that, let's just jump to a quick time lapse of me and Karin doing this puzzle. We're back to me. I can't believe I had to. I, I was looking at it this morning before filming it and I was like, oh dang, I need to disassemble the puzzle so I can put it back in the box to show it to you guys. I really should have recorded it before. But now that we've done the puzzle, there was a lot of things that we talked about throughout making the puzzle other than, you know, just girly chit chat. We were also talking about the fact that, you know, the pieces are very nice. The quality is very good. And if we weren't in such a hurry to do this for a tutorial, then this would have been a really fun puzzle to do because coming from doing, you know, a thousand piece puzzles and 2000 piece puzzles and actually looking at a 200 piece one and going like, what? For both of us, I think it was a really, really nice experience. I also have another puzzle here at home, a hundred piece puzzle from Zazzle that I'm going to be reviewing in the next few videos, as well as some puzzle related items from Printful that I've ordered for you guys to check out, like Printful pants. 
and a print on demand water bottle as well as one of their tank tops, which I'm super excited about. And also another product from Canva, yeah, Canva print on demand showed up, which is the Bella Canvas t-shirt. And they're all into the puzzling niche because this is something I'm really investing my time in. By the way, if you like this video and found this content useful, please hit that like button down below because every time you do, it really does help my channel. And subscribe to my channel if you are not yet subscribed. For me, this whole fascination with puzzles and also like, you know, I'm trying to check out the quality of Society6 puzzles. I've ordered from Zazzle, which I have to say I'm quite pissed off about the whole shipping process. And I will be talking about that when I review the Zazzle puzzles as well as their quality, which was not what I expected from Zazzle. And I am thinking that maybe it's high time for me to order a puzzle from Fine Art America, even though their shipping prices are ridiculous. But the more I dive deeper into these niches, the more I find out that Society6 is something that I really want to push forward with. I mean, all of the products that I've ordered are flawless. I do have more products coming my way from Society6. I have a mug yet to review, as well as uh, leggings coming my way, which I want to compare to Redbubble leggings. And I have the towels coming my way, which I think got lost in the mail again, because ordering to Bulgaria is exhausting, you guys. But seriously, the quality is so amazing. And it really gets me thinking where I want to spend my time uploading stuff to because I was really excited about Zazzle because of their jigsaw puzzles but perhaps Society6 is going to give me everything I need and as I said before these are all going to a MissJigsaw.com website which is live by the way not that it has much on it and the plan for Miss Jigsaw started off from trying to do something like online play online puzzles so free online puzzles that you can play and sort of when you play that online puzzle, you can also go ahead and purchase the actual puzzle, the actual photo physically. So the same photo that I have here, I basically will upload onto Jigsaw Planet and embed it to my website. But the more I go into specifics and I think about it, I think that the online playing of the Jigsaw puzzles will be a very small part of the website. And I will try to focus more on Jigsaw puzzle reviews and, you know, stuff like that, because I'm really into puzzles lately. And the main marketing channel that I will be using for mysjigsaw.com, other than SEO work that will be inside the website pages, but the main thing that I'm going to do to market this specific website will be YouTube. And there are two reasons for that. The first reason is because I do love YouTube as a medium. I mean, making videos and having them last long and for example, the, the video that you saw right now, the time lapse, I'm saving it and I will be using it for Miss Jigsaw to review this in a totally different way. I will not be reviewing this on Miss Jigsaw as, you know, talking to print on demand designers and artists telling them, hey, this is the quality of what you get so you can go ahead and sell it to other people. But I will be talking more about, hey, this is an original Miss Jigsaw puzzle made by Society6. This is the quality. Go ahead and buy it. And I think that it will be a great medium for that because there is some overlap between the videos I'm already making for this channel. So there is materials that I can use. And the second reason is, I don't know if you guys know this, but I don't market this channel anywhere. YouTube is a huge, like my main marketing platform to market my YouTube channel is YouTube. And if having a YouTube channel for the Jigsaw Puzzle project or for anything else will teach me more about print on demand marketing, that will be a lesson that I can share with you guys. Plus it's so much fun. The videos I'm going to make for Miss Jigsaw are going to be completely different videos. First of all, I don't think I'll be in them as much. I think that I will be like a voice in the background talking while people see different slides or the pieces of the puzzle or even online jigsaw puzzling. I think I'm going to narrate more and have slides and showing my screen and showing the puzzles than showing myself. It's not because I have any problem of showing myself. I think maybe at some points I will have a photo of me, but I don't know if you guys know, but like, you know, trying to find an angle to film and the sun needs to be in the exact right way. And you also need to be in this mindset of giving out your energy, which is super difficult. And I just don't think I would want that. There was a previous video in the channel, well, not a previous, one of the first videos in this channel was directed to people who want to sell printable wall art. So I was explaining the DPI and the sizes and that entire video, which by the way, I think had over 10,000 views. I was not there. I was narrating it using slides from Canva that I made as well as, you know, just a photo of me to say hello and a photo of me to say goodbye. So I really do think that Miss Jigsaw is going to go that way. On the Miss Jigsaw channel, I'm not going to only have the puzzles that I made and I designed. I'm also going to have other puzzles that I just purchased and like 
because I do enjoy making puzzles on my free time. I was also thinking about buying, you know, a really simple 100 piece puzzle and just making it coloring it in white and then coloring over it to make like a DIY video on how to take an existing puzzle and make it your own. And I really want to make that channel about puzzles. And I know that we sort of deviated from this as a thing, but my marketing technique for that channel, for that specific place, would be more over the entire niche of puzzle lovers and not just what products I have on print and demand. Because this design on Society6 is on everything. It's on pillows, it's on wall art, it's on pretty much all of their products. But yet I'm focusing on puzzles because for Miss Jigsaw, I will be promoting my puzzles on Society6 with an affiliate link. So if anybody buys anything else, I still get money. I will be also affiliating AliExpress and Etsy, as well as promoting designs I have made for Tee Public for puzzle lovers. Like, you know, one of my t-shirts that says I'm like puzzle queen or puzzle king. And I'm really, really excited about this, as well as trying to finally get the other puzzle I got from Zazzle or think about ordering a jigsaw puzzle from uh, Fine Art America because Finer Works puzzle, I don't know if you've seen the review, but the quality was super low. And to be honest, as a puzzle lover, even though I'm living here in Bulgaria and I can find really cheap puzzles for like, I don't know, 10 euros, Spending $37 on this was definitely worth it. And I do see myself doing this puzzle again and ordering more puzzles from Society6. I have a lot of other puzzle merch that I've made using Printful, which will be shown in next few videos. And I hope that you will go ahead and check them out. And with that being said, and with this cute little thing, that was it from me for today. Thank you so much for watching. And as usual, I'll see you guys in my next video. Bye.